Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bharat. You're watching iGAN, and today we are checking out Xiaomi's Mi Smart Speaker. So let's quickly get started. Now, Xiaomi's launched a whole bunch of products, and one of them is the Mi Smart Speaker. It's priced at rupees three thousand four hundred and ninety-nine, and we'll leave links to buying it in the description below if you guys are interested. Now, basically, what the Mi Smart Speaker is is a version of the Google Home speaker, but it is Xiaomi's take on it and it is a fraction of the price. So for a price of Rs. 3,499, what you're getting is a full-size home smart speaker, which makes it really cool. Let's talk about the design and the aesthetic. The design of the speaker is quite nice and surrounding it is a really fine metal mesh that Xiaomi says has been designed to keep dust out. But we'll only be able to tell that over long periods of time. Speaker has quite a lot of heft and weight to it, which means that the magnetic drivers on the inside are also quite nice and large. On the top is a plastic panel, which houses the controls and the far field microphones. We'll talk about those in just a second. On the front, you can see a Xiaomi logo, which is in the gold color. And on the back is where you will connect your power adapter this is not a portable bluetooth speaker this is a home connected smart speaker now let's talk about some of the specifications of the speaker this has a 2.5 inch full frequency 12 watt speaker there are also two microphones they have a far field wake support so whenever you say okay google this will uh, basically wake up the speaker without any problem okay google could you please turn on the lights The top button layout has capacitive touch buttons that uh, will respond to your touching them and the buttons include a volume up and down along with a mute and a play pause button for easy access in case you're not interested in using voice commands. On the top of the speaker, if you press the microphone button, the light turns red, which means uh, that uh, the speaker is completely muted and is no longer listening in on your conversation. The good thing about this speaker is that you do not need any additional application to set this up. It works directly with Google's Home app and uh, it is available on Android as well as iOS and it just detects it as a Google Home speaker and you can connect with your device or with your account and have this set up as your primary home speaker or as an add-on speaker anywhere in your house. The setup is quite seamless and it works with both 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. The speaker also has controls for a bass and treble which can be set from uh, the Google Home app. And you can go into the speaker settings and set your desired amount of bass and treble as per your listening preferences. The good thing is that uh, this also has inbuilt Bluetooth. So once you connect to your Google account, you will be able to tell the assistant to turn on Bluetooth and then you will be able to pair this via Bluetooth to a device that only has Bluetooth streaming capabilities, or if you don't want to connect uh, all your devices onto the network, you can simply connect to the speaker via Bluetooth and use it as a Bluetooth speaker. It does, however, require to be connected to the account at the first time. Now, the good benefit of a smart speaker is that not only can it play music for you or podcasts or uh, any kind of sound from any device uh, that you're watching, say, for example, a YouTube video on a television, you can use this speaker as your primary speaker. What is also cool is that you can use two of these speakers on either side of your television to get a better audio experience. Now I'll be testing all of those things out at a later date, but for what it sounds like from the beginning, it sounds pretty well balanced and uh, there's ample amounts of bass and uh, the volume goes up really high and I didn't find any distortion to begin with. This is a really well-made speaker and has a good overall volume and will fill up a 10 feet by say 15 feet room without any problems. Now because this has Chromecast built in, any devices that do support Chromecast will be able to cast audio to this and it will function as a speaker for casting directly to this. On the front you do get a 1.1 inch AMOLED full touch display and on the back you do get a PPG heart rate sensor along with a 6 axis sensor and a gyroscope. Again if you already have a Google Home setup or if you want to get started with it, this is a really good place to get started. The pricing as it seems 
is really low and the build quality is really nice and the other benefit is that there are no third party applications or servers involved it directly pairs up with the google assistant via google's app so there are no issues with respect to any of those things definitely an interesting product and we'll be doing a more in-depth video on this once we get our hands on two of these speakers so until then if you're interested in checking out the speaker we leave a link in the description below if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you're not already a part of team i can this being bharat thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one